This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. of the sewage drains finally gets the mayor's attention he promises prompt action against the contractor and the contractor man and already did to solve man and chair you treading with caution the union shipping minister says he will wait for the supreme court's order for the go ahead signal state administrator s malathi takes over the reins of new chief secretary of tamil nadu out for lunch an unsuspecting customer finds a worm in his sambar rice and the restaurant refuses to replace his dish and a pain in the neck for some and a resident evil for others the culprit the it companies the software professionals or the corporation good evening i'm evelyn matthew and this is headlines now your one stop for all that's making news throughout the day we bring you up to speed with the big news in your city and the nation in a quick 13 minutes So sit back and relax as we get you the news that's making headlines in the rest of the country as well. Accused of spot fixing, the Pakistani captain and his star bowlers are questioned by the Scotland Yard. They are barred from practice. The Supreme Court reopens the Bhopal gas tragedy. Notices are sent to Kushub, Mahindra, and six others. A furious Supreme Court slams Sharad Pawar's dismissal of food supply, orders free grains to the poor. And India flexes its financial muscle a bullish economy charges with an 8.8% growth the highest in two years. Well on to our top story NDTV Hindu brought you the story of children bang in the middle of Chennai who are being forced to plunge into storm water drains where rain mixes with uh, sewage water. This has sent shock waves across the city. Our investigative reporter Sai Manish raises important questions in a country which now has an obligation to provide its children free education. Can such heartrending scenes ever be pardonable? of what use is the right to free education when the country cannot free these kids from the shackles of poverty questions for which no one really has an answer to perhaps only promises to take action to ward off criticism innocence gone down the drain ndtv hindu brought you these shocking pictures look at these children cleaning drains overflowing with rain water mixed with sewage a shocked mayor of chennai promises action illa drain ay illa adu mal nir vadigal vai thu andha thoor varra panigal la yaro enge eedu paduthirukanga andha contractor mela nadavadi eduthu solli manavar achi arivirukku ditto from the metro water chief the children and other things is unheard of in metro water we don't uh, engage the children wherever uh, the contractors are working it is strictly prohibited uh, uh, to engage the children in fact uh, we take uh, strict action against the contractor and they don't uh, allow so no child is uh, engaged in the cleaning of the sewage system innocence gone down the drain mr kapil sibal are you watching this these innocent eyes bereft of aspirations staring into a vacuum demanding nothing more than a life of human dignity can you look into their eyes mr sibal and say you gave them the right to ask for education innocence gone down the drain an indicator perhaps that a law means nothing that these children will continue clearing the muck at many an indifferent city to eke out a living instead of building their future in classrooms with sai manish in chennai sanjay pinto ndtv hindu it's also the open danger to their health that's also looming large around them well in other news uh, when the center waves the flag gk varsan will get his men back in action it seems a day after tamil nadu's chief minister expressed his concern that superstition and wrong beliefs have hindered sedu samudram project the union shipping minister mr varsan made it clear that the next course of action regarding the project will be decided after the supreme court's order and that the implementation of the sedu samudram project has always been a dream project of the ruling dmk but the project did hit a roadblock after hindu groups opposed its implementation earlier however the central government seems to be very cautious in its next course of action 
இன்றைக்கு சேது சமுதிர திட்டத்தினுடைய நிலை உச்ச நீதிமன்றத்திலே நிலுவையிலே இருக்கின்ற காரணத்தினால் அந்த நிலுவையின் அடிப்படையிலே வருகின்ற மாறங்களிலே ஏற்படுகின்ற தீர்ப்பின் அடிப்படையிலே சேது சமுதிர திட்டம் விரைவாக நிறைவேற்றப்படும் சாத்திர சம்பிரதாயங்கள் மூட நம்பிக்கைகள் இவைகளின் காரணமாகத்தான் சில நேரங்களில் செயல் போன்ற மக்கள் நல திட்டங்கள் எல்லாம் கிடப்பில் போடப்பட வேண்டிய நிலைமைக்கு ஆளாகின்றது Well, the state of Tamil Nadu has a brand new Chief Secretary S. Malathi. No stranger to the state administration, Ms. Malathi held several offices earlier, including the posts of Home Secretary and the Vigilance Commissioner of the state. She takes the mantle from K.S. Sripathi, who retired today. Well, here's a group that's rallying for a different cause. More than one and a half lakh uh, midday meal workers protested today against the DMK government for forcefully suspending 300 functionaries of the midday meal workers union. The workers demanded a salary hike and leg regularization of their service, but the government ordered their immediate suspension and arrested a few of the workers. The CPM has lashed out against the Chief Minister Karunayanidhi saying that he's turning democratic protests violent with the help of the police. The CPM also made it clear that instead of making arrests, the government should negotiate with the workers. And our senior correspondent Peer Muhammad now joins us live from our newsrooms. Peer, uh, would you say that the protest today all throughout the state was relatively successful? Uh, yes, Evelyn, uh, the protest has been quite successful and the protest is going to continue. I spoke to the uh, noon meal workers union uh, office bearers and they say the protest is going to continue more aggressively, particularly after the government decided to sack the office bearers of the noon meal workers unions uh, at the state level. Also, now they have sent memos and notices to the noon meal workers unions at district levels. So, the, because of the crackdown, the noon meal workers protest is, they are also joining hands with other trade unions and they are going to put up pressure on the DMK government now. Uh, they are saying that, you know, they, they, their protest was met with uh, a greeting from the uh, then DMK chief in 87 when they protested for the same reason uh, during MGR's regime, uh, the same DMK chief uh, welcomed them and why is he not heeding to their demands? That is what they are saying and they are saying that our struggle will be a joint struggle, particularly now that the government is cracking down on us with uh, sacking our uh, people uh, from the government post. So that is why the struggle is going to continue in the coming days, uh, Evelyn. All right. Uh, thanks very much indeed, Pete, for joining us with that latest update from across the state. Now, meanwhile, uh, the AIDMK Supremo Jailalitha, like uh, Peer said, too backed the noon meal workers. She said that the government was being vindicted towards noon meal workers as they were appointed during the MGR regime. She added that the demands of the noon meal workers were justified as there was an unprecedented price rise under the DMK regime. Now, in a shocking incident today, a hotel caught serving Sambar Sadam with dead worms in it challenged the customer to go file a police complaint. A family who decided to have lunch at a restaurant on Mount Road were disgusted after finding dead worms floating in their eyes. When they informed the hotel manager, they were advised to throw out the worms and continue eating or file a complaint. <laughs> அந்த சாம்பார் சாதத்தில் வந்து புழுக்கள் நெண்டி இருப்பதை நாங்கள் கண்ணால் பார்த்தோம் உடனே அந்த சாதம் போட்டவர்களை வந்து அந்த ஹோட்டல் உரிமையாளரை என்னப்பா இது புழு நெண்டி இருக்குது அப்படின்னு கேட்டதுக்கு அப்படி தாங்க இருக்கும் அதை தூக்கி போட்டுட்டு நீங்கள் சாப்பிடுங்க இல்லைன்னா நீங்கள் எது வேணாலும் செய்துங்க வழக்கு கூட போட்டுங்க 
really, really speaks volumes of uh, the lax attitude by the hotel managers and uh, urgently crying out for attention by food inspectors. Now, there's no doubt that the IT boom in the city has brought in lots of revenue and opportunities for many in Chennai. But that's not all it does. This rapid industrialization has also affected some citizens. Our reporter Bertilla finds out more. Swanky IT buildings and corridors now have their own, not so legal, makeshift parking lots, which are proving to be a pain in the neck for commuters. Take this road, for instance. Packed with IT companies, the corporation had recently widened this road to ease the traffic congestion in this area. But instead of helping the commuters, this road widening project has only led to a different evil. The road has now turned into a popular parking destination for the omnibuses, cars and vans hired by these very IT companies to pick up and drop their employees. <laughs> This illegal parking problem has also silently crept into quieter, unnoticed streets in the city, where many college buses park for free. In fact, the transport authorities have the right to seize vehicles and also fine vehicle owners without proper parking spaces. But activists point out that the authorities are mostly lethargic in this issue. When somebody gives a uh, parking garage address, the authorities now go by the declaration of the person rather than the truth of the declaration. This is something that they seem to overlook. There are over 25 black vehicles flying on Chennai streets every day. It's high time the concerned authorities take the issue of traffic congestion and its regulation seriously. In Chennai, with Bertilla, Ragamalika for NDTV Hindu. Well, still ahead on the bulletin. While Sharad Pawar plays his power card with the farmers, the judiciary is not too sweet with him. That's coming up in just a moment.